Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are checking out Cascador. Now, this is a animation application, and especially useful for people like me that kind of suck at animation. And what it allows you to do is basically do your animation work, but let the computer do the heavy lifting for you. I'm going to see it in action, then we're going to go into why we we're talking about it, and that is because the open beta is now available. So if you want to check this out, you can do so. So here we are inside of Cascador, and you'll notice right away, See how I'm just moving one control point and it's updating accordingly? That's kind of the starring piece of what Cascadour is all about. We've got a full rig behind this guy. If we head on over here, we can actually see there's all the bones in action, all the control points and everything that are working behind us. But we've got this nice focus mode where we can just grab a handful of control points. And then as we move them around, see how the body responds accordingly? So I could basically just pose this guy as I need. So if you got lean him back on the ground, bring him back and forward. And what they're doing is they've got all of these animations they've done on their own back end. And as it's doing stuff, it's sort of recognizing what you're trying to accomplish here. So let me just grab a different control point. You'll see it in action. So let's move that foot up. It's going to move the other things around as I move it. So slide the body forward. It's gonna guess that that's what we want to do. Same thing here, come up, grab and control the head. We move it around and you'll notice the body updates with it. So if you wanna whip your head to each side, you can do a full on exorcist if you so wish right here. And you're using these simple control points and they're just basically kind of indicating to uh, Cascadur what you're trying to accomplish here. And then it does the rest for you based off this huge database of animations that they've built in as you're doing things and moving stuff, it goes, oh, I recognize what you're trying to do. You're trying to do a handspring or a parkour jump or whatever, and then it responds accordingly. Now, there are a couple of other things in action here as well. So in addition to this uh, control mode, and of course you could come in here and you can rig using pretty much traditional rigging tools. You're gonna notice over the side here, you've got your full amateur um, armature going on right there. You can set things up that way. Again, you've got these other different modes where you can take a kind of a more traditional approach to it. You set your keyframes down here to make your animation animations. Um, and one thing I think we should point out right away, this is a somewhat new feature and something that is critical to a bunch of my audience. There is a dark mode, as you can see in action. You're going to probably want to grab it almost immediately because I am not a dark mode person. And I'm even going to admit that without turning dark mode on, the initial view mode is really, really bright. So like if your eyes are burning right now, you are not alone. I ran into the same thing. So if you want to turn dark mode on right away, again, this was a feature that was just added. Head on into the settings window. You can see their theme, light and dark. Also, by the way, this is available for Windows and Linux. As of right now, no Mac OS version, but that is something that is going to be coming at some point in the future. So that's the basics of it. Um, and there's a number of models and materials to get started with. Another thing that you can do with Cascadeur is sort of uh, pass and have it kind of figure out the rest for you. So here you can see they're doing uh, a spline-based trajectory animation here. And then as it does things, like as it lands on this little pole here, it figures out how to you know balance that character at the end. So you can see this animation in action. And there you can see, you can control and adjust the control points here. So I could grab this guy here We'll change it around a little bit. And then we can move back to the beginning of the animation. Coincidentally, uh, note to the developer, uh, you have your icons flipped here. The go to the beginning guy should be this one, not this. So this is previous key. This is go to the beginning, at least in a traditional UI, just something I kind of noticed here. So let's go ahead. And now you see a bit of an update from what we've done. And it just kind of programmatically figures out the rest of the animation for you. So it makes kind of like the fine tuning details. It just takes care of them. And I actually really appreciate that because as I said, to start this off, I really suck at animation. So here's another example. We're in mid flight at this point. And there you go. So if you want to come in here, you can grab this guy immediately starting today. One thing I did run into is it didn't send me the confirmation email to my first address. So I actually had to, to apply twice. And it seems like the existing beta program accounts are kind of not working anymore. Uh, but as you see, number of different examples there. You head on in here, just go to open and you're going to find uh, there's a, a folder of called samples here, uh, a bunch of them to go from right there. There's also a number of tutorials on their site that will get you up and going. I've only really touched the very, very basics of what this application is about. So as you can see from across the top, there's a number of different features here. One big thing that they did recently is they updated their rigging tools. Before it used to be basically you had to use their rig and make things work. Now they've got a full set of rigging tools in here. Um, also, when you're done and you like what you've got to work with, you can export things out as FBX and DAE, either as a full scene or just the animations, if you wish. Um, 
So do be aware of that. You can also export out a video if you so wish. We can import in existing rigs. Uh, and you'll notice if you come back in here to the opens, you've got the standard Unreal um, mannequin to start from too. So if you want to just kind of work from a very basic setting, this is a good way to get in here and get going. And the rig is already set up for you. So you can basically just go into what you probably want to do to get things started. Go here into uh, view mode. So you can by the way, you can drag that out to see all different modes. Go into view mode. It'll uh, straight forward the process. Oh, it doesn't seem to be set up for that kind of rig. Okay, the other one has that. So this one, you're gonna manually be uh, manipulating the rig like you would in a traditional animation system. You set your keyframes at the bottom as you go. And then you can let uh, Cascadeur do the, the calculations in between, and that's where it really shines. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this guy, uh, again, as I mentioned, it is now in open beta. We'll get to that in just a second. This website is Casca, so C-A-S, -S C-A-D-E-U-R.com. I will, of course, link that in the linked article down below. Software for physics-based character animation. Uh, it is currently uh, free for early adopters. They also changed their licensing so that you can actually uh, use their generated um, results without having to get permission, which is a huge deal. We've got a number of different things here. So we've got things like uh, you can actually see a traditional um, onion skinning kind of animation. We can also come back over here. This is actually kind of neat. There's a, a silhouettes mode, which is... Uh, kind of so you can see like an animation on a broader level. I like that. I don't know, I'm not getting my animations, but oh, there are no animations on this guy. Uh, so as you kind of update, change things, you're gonna see things in silhouette mode. I think that's kind of a sleek thing they've got here. They use physics loss for maximum realize, uh, realism. You can animate any kind of character, including, uh, as you can see, saber tooth tigers or mechs. They've got rigging tools that are in there. And then basically the AI does the hard work for you. So you pose this guy as if you were doing a flip and then you see, bang, it can position the hands down to go to the floor automatically for you. Being that it exports out FBX and Collada files, you can use it in basically, well, here it's saying Unreal, Unity, Max, and Maya, but you should also be able to use it without much issue in Blender as well. The FBX and DAE importers, especially the FBX, have gotten quite a bit better. So you should be able to use it with Blender as well and the majority of game engines that are out there. Those are pretty standardized formats that it's working with. So if you are interested, just come on in here. You can do the download after you've done a sign up again I did have a bit of a foul up on my end I had to uh uh, use a second set of emails, unfortunately, here. So you can see here, the open beta just launched today. Uh, new core architecture in place, uh, improvements to the rigging uh, creation tools, uh, GUI conversion, they now use QML instead of the old QT setup. Uh, so you should get basically better um, UI as a result. And again, the big one here is they changed the licensing model. Uh, so they've simplified it. Any animations created with Cascadeur's new OBT version can freely be used in commercial games and movies without having to ask for permission or or pay any licensing fees. So it's time to definitely get in while it is free, because uh, I got to imagine it ain't gonna stay that way once it gets out of beta. So if you're interested, as I mentioned earlier on, it is available for both Windows and Linux. It's actually a pretty small download, and this is one of those things that you don't see very often, is the Windows installer is actually smaller than the Linux installer, which, Huh. Uh, given the fact that it's actually being developed with C++, I believe, and Qt, um, you should be seeing the Mac port that it's saying is coming soon. Well, it, it should, in fact, probably come soon. And then finally, you've got the Trello board here. It kind of shows where they're going with things, what they're... Uh, future plans are with this guy. Um, so new skinning support, loop animation support. Again, we got Mac OS. Again, if you are on Mac OS, you're gonna be waiting a little bit of time. You're looking at one year planned before that's out there. Um, but th this is kind of where they're going with this. I will link the Trello board with the linked article down below. So if you wanna see that as well. One thing, again, people have been really waiting for is that dark theme. That dark theme is a recently shipped feature. So that is definitely nice. And of course we are now in an open beta. So uh, you know your contribution and uh, feedback is going to help this product become whatever this product will become. And I gotta say there is a heck of a lot of potential here. If you're interested, the documentation is also available. I will link this as well. We got a, a bit of an FAQ and you can see why uh, uh, some of the questions here, oh, the white interface is difficult for my eyes. Will there be a dark theme available? So it, it, it's, yeah, it's something they knew about. And again, their white theme, and I don't know why this isn't really something that I normally care about, but theirs was really bright. So it's nice to see that that dark mode is out there. And it is an application that is improving steadily. Again, I've had my eye on this guy for quite a while, and it does allow you uh, to make some animations that you kind of might be shocked at your results if you're not a good animator. Now, I don't know if you are a good animator what you're going to think of the overall quality because I'm not in the same boat as you. I'm a horrific animator. But what this allows me to do is create animations that are pretty much um, 
you know, almost on par with what I get from something like Mixamo. Uh, there is a learning curve here for sure, but you can just kind of get in, grab some of their example files, uh, such as this one that I checked out right here, and just sort of uh, get an idea of what's going forward. Of course, your timeline is down here. You can set your, your keyframes down there. You've got options for forward and inverse kinematics. You create your keyframes, set them over time. You can loop things around. Another thing that I've done here that you, uh, you might want to see is you can bind your textures right here. So if you want to bind in a texture, uh, you can select select the, the material over here. So for example, the head has a bound texture to it and then boom, select. And then if you go into the samples, there is a set of textures in here for these characters. So if you want to actually texture your models that are in Cascadeur, the options are available up here. Now, what you're going to find is if you head on over to their tutorial section, they've got a ton of tutorials available. Uh, I think they were linked off here. So we'll go to learn. You're going to see there's a bunch of tutorials here. So we'll go to the video lessons aspect. Oh, I'll pause that. Uh, you're going to find their entire channel. I will link their channel as well if you want to go and check this out. You can see there's a full playlist of getting up and going in about uh, 17 uh, different tutorials. Kind of walks you through it. Probably the easiest way for you to get up and going. Just be aware, this is beta software in a lot of the locations. So they'll say click this icon and, and they're just not available anymore. You're going to find a lot of things were collapsed down into this little guy over here. So uh, if you're hunting around for uh, a thing, it's probably here or it's probably collapsed in a menu in a way that it wasn't before. But other than that, I uh, definitely do give it a shot. It's again, it's a free download. All you got to do is give them a username and email address. They'll send a confirmation to your email address, hopefully, and then you can just download it. Uh, but you are going to, when you first download, have to give that email address as a login. So make sure that you use one that's right and that you verify it. So anyways, that is it. That is Cascadeur. Uh, I guess we we'll call it a machine assisted animation tool. It's got a heck of a lot of potential. You can use basically physics modeling to create animations quickly and somewhat easily. And I do recommend uh, get in there, check it out. It is free right now and uh, hard to beat that price. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.